Diffraction magnetometer in pan B position. The aim of the experiment is to determine the moment of a given bar magnet using the diffraction magnetometer in tan B position. Now in tan B position to determine the moment and pole strength of a magnet by the diffraction magnetometer method uh, we are using the principle uh, diffraction magnetometer principle is B is equal to B H tan theta where B H is the horizontal component air field and B is the field produced by a magnet. Here B is the field produced by a magnet on its equatorial line. So therefore B is equal to mu zero by 4 pi m by d square plus l square the raised to 3 by 2. That is a field on the equatorial line of a magnet. <coughs> then equating these two we are getting mu zero by 4 pi m by d square plus l square the raised to 3 by 2 is equal to bh tan theta. We can calculate m using the formula 4 pi by mu zero bh d square plus l square the raised to 3 by 2 tan theta. Where d the distance of the magnet uh, from the center of the center of the magnet to the center of the compass box and 2L the length of the magnet. Now, pole strength can be calculated using the formula moment divided by 2L that is pole strength the M. Now, coming to the procedure here we are arranging the deflection magnetometer in tan B position. Now, in tan B position uh, the apparatus is actually in the north south direction. Now, for that we are having two arrangements are there. The initial adjustment is the 1990 line is made parallel to the arms of the diffraction magnetometer. So, we are having a compass box which is placed at the center of the wooden board. The compass box is divided into four quadrants. So, 0 to 90 it is marked each quadrant. So, the 1990 line is made parallel to the arms of the diffraction magnetometer. Then secondly, the whole apparatus is rotated so that the aluminum pointer reads 0, 0 then automatically the diffraction magnetometer comes in the north south direction that is the tan B position. Now to take the readings the magnet is kept in one side uh, at a distance of say 14 or 15 centimeter so that the diffraction is uh, only between 30 and 60. So here the diffraction magnetometer is arranged like this <laughs> the diffraction magnetometer is in the north south direction. Now the magnet is placed like this. The magnet is placed in a perpendicular position so that the center of the compass box is on the equatorial line of the magnet. So the magnet is produce a magnetic field here and that magnetic field is in this direction that is in the east west direction and BH is in the north south direction. So two fields are there we can apply the tangent law. So the magnet should be placed like this only uh, in a perpendicular position. So let me kept it at a certain distance of 15 centimeter we obtain two deflections in the deflection magnetometer. Then the magnet is reversed here. Now here north and south it is reversed south here and north here. We are getting two more deflections here. Then the same magnet is placed on the other arm on the other side for example the northern side. Then we are getting the fifth and sixth reading. Then again the magnet is reversed then we are getting the seventh and eighth reading. So for a particular distance d we are getting eight readings. We can calculate the mean theta and the moment can be calculated using the earlier formula. Now the experiment can be repeated the magnet is placed at a, another distance say instead of 15, uh, 14 centimeter let be placed at a distance of 15 centimeter take the 8 deflections and calculate M. It is repeated for 4, uh, 3 or 4 di uh, distances 16, 17, 18 centimeters and then we can determine the moment, mean moment of the magnet. Now in tan B position we want to adjust the deflection magnetometer in tan B position. We have two adjustments. The first one is rotation of the compass box. The second one is the rotation of the wooden board. Initially the compass box is rotated. The compass box is rotated such that the 90-90 line, one of the 90 is here now, the other 90 is here. So we are rotating the compass box such that the 90-90 line is parallel to the arms of the diffraction magnetometer. This is the arms of the diffraction magnetometer or scale of the diffraction magnetometer. Now 190 is coinciding here and the other 90 is coinciding here. So the 90-90 line is parallel to the arms of the diffraction magnetometer. Now secondly, we are rotating the whole apparatus. The whole apparatus we can rotate so that the initial reading of the aluminum pointer should be 0, 0. The aluminum pointer, the long aluminum pointer should read 0, 0. So the apparatus is rotated, the apparatus is rotated, the apparatus is rotated so that the aluminum pointer reads 0, 0. 
Now the aluminum point reads 0, 0. Now you can see that the diffraction magnetometer, the arms of the diffraction magnetometer is in the north-south direction. The arms of the diffraction magnetometer is in the north-south direction. Now we have to take reading, we have to bring the magnet and we have to place the magnet on the diffraction magnetometer arm. Now we are bringing the magnet, the magnet is brought and the magnet is placed at a certain distance. The magnet is placed such that it is in a perpendicular position with the arms, with the arms of the diffraction magnetometer, the magnet is placed in a perpendicular position. Now the magnet is placed at a distance such that initially we can take a, di a diffraction of about nearly 60. So the distance is adjusted. Now here I am adjusting the distance and for a distance, now it is placed for a distance of 14 centimeter. 14 means that is D from the center of the compass box to the center of the magnet. Now the distance is 14 centimeter. Now I am getting two readings in the compass box. Here it is 57 and here it is 56. So we, we got two readings 57 and 57 or 56. Then again, the magnet is reversed and placed at the same distance 14 centimeter. The magnet is reversed and placed at the same uh, 14 centimeter. We are getting two more readings in the other two quadrants. In the other two quadrants we are getting the readings. Here I am getting a reading of uh, 56 and again another reading 56. So we noted the reading 56 and 56. So while keeping the magnet in the eastern side, sorry in the south side, uh, we obtain four readings. Now the magnet is shifted to the north side, north side and it is placed at the same distance 14 centimeter, it is placed at the same distance 14 centimeter. We are supposed to get four more readings. So first we are getting the fifth and sixth reading. Here I am getting a reading say 57 and 57 that is the uh, fifth and sixth reading. Now the magnet is reversed, there it is reversed and kept at the same distance 14 centimeter. The center of the magnet is at a distance of 14 centimeter. So I am getting the seventh and eighth reading that is 56 and 57. So that reading is also noted. So now I got eight readings. We can find the mean of that eight readings and from that tan theta is calculated and then the moment is calculated. Now to repeat the experiment, the distance is changed to another value to a value of say 15 centimeter. Now it is a distance of 15 centimeter. We are getting readings 1, 2. The magnet is reversed. We are getting the reading 3 and 4. The magnet is placed on the other side at a distance of 15 centimeter. We are getting the readings 5 and 6. When it is reversed, we are getting the readings 7 and 8. Now repeat it for another distance say 16 centimeter, uh, 17 centimeter, 18 centimeter. For each distance, we are having 8 readings and we can find the mean of that 8 readings, mean theta and then tan theta can be calculated. Now coming to a sample observations in tan B position, the length of the magnet 2L is 7.6 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meter. So half the length is 3.8 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meter. <coughs> now the magnet is kept at a distance of say 14 centimeter. Uh, initially we got the diffractions 57 and 57. When it is reversed, and kept at the same side at the same distance, the diffractions are 56 and 56. Then the magnet is taken to the other side and kept at the same distance 14. Then the diffractions are 57, 57. Again the magnet is reversed, then the diffractions are 57 and 57. So the mean value of eight diffraction is 57.25. The calculated moment value is 1.8035. Now the experiment is repeated for distances 15, say 15.5, 16, 17, 18, etc. Each time we obtain the 8 diffractions and the moment value is calculated. The mean moment is calculated here. Uh, that is calculated using the formula m is equal to 10 to the power of 7 bh d square plus l square the raised to 3 by 2 tan theta. So in each distance, we are changing the distance. L is a constant for the magnet. So d is only changing. So for each distance, we are getting tan theta and we calculate the value of moment. And the mean moment is obtained 1.8289. Then the pole strength is calculated moment divided by 2L, the length of the magnet, so that we obtain 24.331 ampere meter.